Hello everyone! Today we will talk about another Facebook application, application that helps you improve your business, increase the number of customers while having it in your pocket. This is the part where marketing strategy is applied and converted into ads. Leads, you can take it from here. Hello everyone, Leads here. Assuming that you have one or several Facebook's business accounts, and for this tutorial you will have to have one, choose the one you want to advertise from simply by tapping on the name of selected account. You can have multiple accounts on this app as you have them on your Facebook for desktop. The first thing you see is the list of all campaigns. You can sort them by these metrics. Maximum. Shows date presets where you can choose it per day, week, month, or custom. Delivery status. Filters info by campaign delivery. Very helpful part because you can list your campaigns by, for example, active, in review, completed, or deleted. Each campaign is tappable, meaning that you can see its details, Edit it, duplicate it, preview it, see the results and learn more about the people that had reached. You can delete it as well. Tapping on these three dots, see if your campaign is active, completed, or paused. You can edit your ad, budget, Change budget and bid strategy deciding what type of optimization and delivery you'll use. Special ad category. Ads that are related to the specific category. For example, minors are excluded in these types of campaigns. And campaign name. You can change your campaign's name in order to have a better preview on what you're advertising. The more detailed name for the campaign you create, the better chances are that you'll find it easier in the later search. Duplicate it. By making copy of an ad, it saves you time if the ad was showing the good results in the past, or you just need to advertise the same thing again. Charts. How your ad is performing. Reading the results can help you combine those informations and metrics so you can follow your audience's interests and target them. From here, you can edit your campaign as well. Compare. You can compare your ads and their performances. You can combine them through time and performance as well. More on that later in this tutorial. Delete. If your ad is unwanted, you can always delete it. Magnifying glass. Search your campaigns by the name and page. The next thing is account overview. This part shows you how much you spent on the specific dates, date range, or day, how many people did you reach, impressions, engagement, post comments, views, shares, reactions, and so on. You can read and see the metrics simply by sliding this part at the top. Facebook analytics clearly show you if your page slash account is growing, how many people are engaged. If it's in the green zone with an arrow pointed up, your stats are increasing and growing and it's important because that way, your business will probably grow too. Make sure that you combine all the knowledge that you gained till now. If the arrow is pointed down and it's red, your page is stagnating or going down. Neither if it's good for your business, brand awareness, or conversions. You can see how much you spent on ads. How many people have you reached? Or impressions? You can choose a lifetime or today, custom date range, and so on. Compare. You can select campaigns simply by tapping on the button. You can choose Facebook and Instagram campaigns. You can compare campaigns from all the pages you manage. It makes comparisons by delivery, results, cost per result, shows objective, bid strategy, if you made one, budgeting. Scroll down to see all the perimeters. The good thing is that from this part, you can edit each one of the campaigns and improve results. You can choose the time range and performance 
combine them as you like in order to learn what drives your audience, what moves them to buy your products, to use your services, like your pages, and so on. If your ad is active, you can edit it from this part as well. By tapping on plus, you can create a campaign as well. First, you'll have to choose a page. In the create ad part, you can easily switch through your pages. Think before you create a campaign. What is your goal? Who is your target group? When it's a good time to publish the post? Do you need engagements? Reach, conversion, traffic to your website. Before you choose a goal, you should know what each goal represents and it's all explained in our video tutorial how to use Facebook Ads Manager and create a campaign. Now choose a post, image or video depending on which type of campaign you selected. You can use one from your page, camera roll, from your phone or even from your Instagram account. If it's an image, you can edit it, crop it, change it and select the ad format. The good thing is that from here you can make creative stories. Use image. Choose offer templates. And edit the active ad while you're on it. The next thing is to choose a placement. Write headline. Add primary text. Add a link to your website if you have one. Add a call to action button if you want to invite people to call you, sign up, download the app for example. Special ad category is a necessary part when talking about promotion of housing, politics, employment, or credit. If you have an Instagram account that is connected to your page, you can connect it here. At any time, you can preview your ad. The next step is audience. You can use the ones that like your page, use the existing audience, or create a completely new one. Choose the exact location that you want to cover with your ad and exclude location if it's not important for your campaign. Choose the age. For example, you will not promote bank offers to the minors. Choose a gender. It depends on your target group, of course. Detail targeting. You can include or exclude people. This part of targeting helps you when talking about the specific type of audience. For example, you're selling healthy food supplements for people that work out regularly. So you want your ad to be presented only to people that eat healthy food, use fitness programs, go to a gym, that are in a relationship and work in healthcare and medical services. When your audience is set, it's time for you to tap next. It's good to have saved audiences so you do not have to create one each time from the scratch. At the very end, choose a daily or a lifetime budget. Schedule your ad, when to start and when to end. Delivery. What kind of optimization do you prefer? By impressions or reach? Keep in mind that for the impressions you'll have to create a bid strategy. If you do it, manually adjust your budget and when will you get charged? Frequency cap. Settings for how many times people will see your ad. When your ad is created, tap here. For promoting on Facebook's platforms, you'll have to set up the billing that we will mention later on in the video. You can also duplicate campaigns that are already created and are no longer active. Tap on the desired campaign. Here you can set up and change the audience, budget, schedule, and placement. Remember the special ad category if you're in credit business, housing, politics. At the end, tap on review order and place your ad. Drafts. If you have not finished some of the ads, you'll find them in drafts. From drafts, you can create an ad as well. Remember to check from which page you're creating the campaign simply by paying attention to this part. To check how your account is standing, tap on three lines and see the billing status. Add payment method shows you which cards you use and it helps you connect your PayPal account to your business account or credit card as well. 
If you do not have a card or PayPal, open one and go to the bank for more details. Transaction history. Receipts that you paid in the last several months. Date, if it's paid or not. And when you tap here, you'll be able to track and download the payments. How much do you pay for which campaign from which cards? For example, remember that Facebook can bill you from your account automatically at the end of the month. So you have to have the right amount on your bill when the date comes. If you don't have it, all your campaigns will be stopped. Billing controls. Set the account limit. This part is important so you can know how much you can spend. Sometimes if you do not have a limit and run multiple ad campaigns, it can happen that you spend more than you wanted. Also, you can set a threshold limit entering the wanted amount. Each time you reach this amount, Facebook will bill you. Business settings. If you run a legit business, you can enter your business details such as name, address, and country. Settings. In this part, you can manage push notifications. Which kind of notifications you would like to receive or not? Would you like in-app sounds? Which theme do you prefer for your mobile app? Light or dark? Instagram accounts. This is the place where all your Instagram accounts are listed. If you want to disconnect from the Instagram, you can tap on the icon on the side. If you have a problem, you can report it right here. Third party notices are licenses that you can see. Log out. You can easily log out anytime you want from your account. Help. Place where you can search through articles that may have answers to your question, report a problem, and read advertising policies. At any time you can tap on notifications button, list them. And from this part, you can create an ad as well, simply by tapping here. If you went through all the beginner, intermediate, and expert steps, this part will be easy to comprehend. You can place our bet on that. Well, that's all for me in this video tutorial. See you in the next one. Thank you, Leeds. You've been very helpful.